So today we have an OCHEM question of the day, and this one's asking us, how would we separate anilin from benzoic acid, toluene, and phenol? So the first thing that we want to figure out is the difference between extraction and distillation. And so I'll just give you guys a quick intro to what extraction is. So extraction separates things by acidity, okay? And how this works is we have this little flask, right? And we're going to have something called the um, organic layer and the aqueous layer. Okay. And the aqueous layer has all these ions, and the organic layer has um, everything else. So for example, if you had something like uh, phenol, and it was deprotonated to make um, O-, minus, it would go into the aqueous layer, and now we can just get this little pipette and suction everything off. Um, and that's how you can separate different uh, molecules by their acidity. Um, and so if we look at what is distillation, so distillation, how it pretty much works, is we have, um, we have this little flask down here, and we boil it. Um, so this is separating by boiling point. And I think you guys can guess, um, when something boils, it'll, it'll turn into vapor, and then eventually it'll, it'll condense back into liquid, and it'll drop back down here. All right? um, so something that has a very low boiling point will come out first, and you can extract that, or you can distill that, sorry, you can distill that first. All right? So this distillation is separated by boiling point, extraction is separated by acidity. All right? So if we look back at our molecules, what can we notice between all of these different things? All right? So NH2, um, that would be a base, uh, OH is an acid, and same with carboxylic is an acid. Can we tell much about the boiling points? From this, honestly, we, we, we can tell a little bit. Um, something with a higher molecular weight is going to have a higher boiling point, and we can kind of figure that out from here. Um, something with more intermolecular forces uh, will also have um, a higher boiling point, which we can kind of tell. Uh, but really, what, what's very, very obvious to us is that the, there's a presence of uh, an acid and there's a presence of bases and there's also a presence of something that's not an acid or a base. Um, and if we look at all our acid choices, we're adding either an acid or a base. Um, so we know that it's not going to be distillation. Um, so uh, between HCl and NaOH, which would do the trick? Okay. So how do we do that? So if we add NaOH to something, um, and let's take phenol for example. Um, if we add NaOH, it's a base, it's going to deprotonate that. Simple deprotonation. Um, if we added this to say aniline, what would happen? Um, well, we could see a deprotonation, so it's NH minus, but that's very, very unlikely to happen. Okay? So this would just be nothing. Um, but what if we had. We could easily see a protonation happening to make NH3+. Um, and we see these would both be in the aqueous layer. Okay? And the question asked us, how do we separate aniline from the rest? So it should be fairly obvious that uh, between the two, if we had NaOH or HCl, we would want it to be in the aqueous layer so we could suction it out. So we would want to add something that would protonate it to make it an ion. Because right? remember, the ions are what travels out and we can into the aqueous layer um, that we can suction out. So, for example, the NH3 plus would be in the aqueous layer and we can suction that out and then separate it. Um, so from this, we know that um, adding HCl to the, the, the mixture would separate uh, aniline from the rest. Hey guys, remember to post any questions you would like us to answer in the next question of the day down below in the comments. Thanks for watching.